Hey guys, today Apple released the Mac App Store and in this video I'm just going to give you a quick hands-on review of the store and what I think about it and where you can download it, etc. Um, in order to get this, before I start anything, you're going to need to be running Mac OS X Snow Leopard 10.6.6. Um, as you can see, my Mac is currently running 10.6.6 and um, if you go ahead, the way if in order to get 10.6.6, all you need to do is click the little Apple up in the upper left if you're running Snow Leopard, Snow Leopard, and click Software Update, and that will get you up to date. Once the download is installed and your computer restarts, you will have the App Store in your dock, um, similar to me right now, and you can go ahead and open it and check it out. Um, unfortunately, this isn't available on PCs yet. Hopefully, they will open it up to PCs, but for now, it's just on Mac. Um, and I'll let you guys know when it comes out for PC. Um, so here we go. I'm going to open up this store. And as you guys can see, it looks really similar to the iTunes store for Mac and PC, as well as the App Store on the iPhone and iPad. Um, up here at the top, you have five tabs. You have a Featured tab, a Top Charts tab, a Categories tab, a Purchases tab, and an Updates tab. Um, and these tabs pretty much do what you would expect, and you guys probably know from the App Store now in iTunes and on your iPhone or iDevice. Um, featured is pretty much um, new and noteworthy apps and what's hot, etc. They just show you what's new in the App Store. Um, and you can go down and scroll down. As you can see, it looks similar to the iTunes Store with the lists of top paid apps here and the top free on the right. And just general apps here that are new um, or hot in the front page. Um, top charts, um, as you guys might expect, you can click it and you can see the top paid apps and the top free apps, um, as well as other categories here on the right. If you keep scrolling down, you can also see top grossing. Uh, categories, obviously categories, you can see the business developer tools, etc. Scroll through and click a category that you want. Purchases, obviously shows you all your purchased apps, as you guys can see. I have downloaded stuff at Expander and Twitter. And updates currently shows you all of your updates on your apps that you have downloaded. And uh, this is actually a very cool feature that I think um, Apple will be able to keep your, your apps up to date as you move along. It'll just make things a lot easier and uh, you won't have to go out there and manually download the update. You can just click in the App Store and it will download it for you. Um, but overall, that's the actual uh, interface of the store. Um, there isn't much to review because it is very similar to the iTunes Store for Mac and PC, as well as the iPod Touch and iPhone and iPad. Um, but yeah, just you, you have that's the whole interface. As far as the apps in the store goes, um, they have similar apps to the iPhone App Store, such as Angry Birds and Aperture, Flight Control, etc. Um, they have some popular apps from the iPhone and iPad, but there is only currently a thousand apps in the App Store for Mac right now, as most of the apps have not been ported over to Mac yet. Um, but it is good to have some iPhone apps. Um, they also have iLife. Um, as you guys can see, they have iPhoto here, and I think I believe if I scroll down earlier, yeah, they have GarageBand and iMovie, and you can buy them all as individual apps, um, which is good. They also have I work as you guys can see pages and keynote um, and they also have numbers down here which is helpful so they pretty much have the Apple covered apps and some of the iPhone apps um, I have checked for Photoshop and office like apps that are actually in the mainstream but those currently are not on the App Store we'll probably have to wait to see those for a while um, just because they need to uh, make actual agreements with Apple to sell their app and I actually have to probably recode it to have it on the App Store. Um, but those, this is pretty much the App Store guys. Those are the apps in the App Store. Um, as far as installing an app, as I said I already installed Twitter and stuff it but I'll go ahead and actually install an app for you guys to show you how it works. Um, I'm going into all free apps here and I'll go ahead and download, I don't know, I'll download Caffeine. So go ahead and click the app you want. As you can see, you can scroll down. It shows you the information here. There's usually a description up here underneath the title of the app, which is helpful. You can see the developer over here on the right. And you can scroll down, and this app only has one screenshot. But if there is more than one, you can click down here and switch between them. Pretty simple. 
And you can see all the recurrent reviews down here, similar to the iTunes App Store for iPhone. Um, but that's the interface of an app. And I'll go ahead and click free. Um, and if it's paid, you can click paid right here as well. And this is where your interface actually comes up. This is my FaceTime email. So if you want to go ahead and add me, you can go ahead. But um, all you have to do is type in your password and hit enter. And as you can see, the icon actually swooped down here into my dock. And it actually already installed. Um, most of the apps have a little download bar underneath them, similar to the iPhone. Um, if you know when you install an app, it has a little blue bar underneath it. That is what most of the apps do. Um, but this one, this one was so small that it didn't do that. But that's pretty much what happens. The app flies from the store to your dock. And you can go ahead and click it and open it up, which is helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and qu quit that app. But that's how you download an app, guys. That's the App Store. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, go ahead and download it. And if you guys haven't already, please visit my website and follow me on Twitter. Um, as well as like my Facebook page um, because all, you guys doing all of that helps me more than you would believe. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and rate thumbs up as that also helps me out too. And hopefully you enjoyed this as well as my other videos. And I'll be making a video soon again, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you then. Peace.